Hello, fourth grade cursive writers. Today we are going to continue practicing um, both capital and lowercase letters, uppercase and lowercase, I should say. Um, so I want for you to start out with reminding your muscles and your brain how you make your capital and lowercase b. Ooh, try not to see any pencil lines stray off of the... Um, <laughs> black lines and it's a little challenging for me because I'm far away from my writing so I can videotape it um, so anyhow there you go practice those and then um, examine examine the directions on the steps and trace those sentences paying really close attention to the letters connecting. Now some capital letters connect to the next letter and some don't. So B does not, R does, N does, <clears throat> M does, H does not. Um, whoops, hello H, there you are. So really just depends upon the letter. And sometimes it depends upon the style of cursive too. There are lots of different styles of cursive. Um, lots of different fonts, just like there are different fonts on the computer. And so when you, when you have a capital letter and you're starting, um, you know, with a lower case, you're just gonna start like with your O at the top, go around, go over, pay close attention to that connection from the O to the B. It does not, the line doesn't go down like a waterfall, it goes across, that's an across letter which I know we talked about last week too. And so slowly, slowly, and um, the Bs are definitely tricky letters. Um, and uh, so do your b -b 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 best. And uh, when you're making that K, do not make it a capital K. Capital Ks are up here. No, 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 whoops, I lost my eraser. Um, make it a lowercase K. And, um, hmm, not a whole lot else to talk about here, except uh, Zs are kind of weird, so um, take your time with that and really trace that enough times that your hand gets comfortable before you um, do your own. Remember to keep your pencil down until you've finished your word and then go back and cross or dot whatever you need to do to finish that up. Um, so also remember that this line is really like the middle line. In fact, if you want to, you could get a straight edge or a ruler and you can make another line, say that that's messy, if that helps you get your letters to be tall enough. Do whatever, you know, whatever you need to do to do your best. And so tall letters tall, please, or they start looking like letters that are not uppercase or lowercase that are just confused. Um, okay, so enough about that. And um, I wanna see if there's anything else that's weird enough to warrant attention. Okay, let's look right here at the word four. So you perhaps have not made a, a lowercase f in a long time. Take your time, do it over again if you need to. You're gonna, oops, <laughs> I didn't copy, did I? Sorry. You're going to go over and up, over hill, back, woo, to that R. Don't go down because it will look like an A, uh-huh. And so there you go. It's pretty odd, but that is how you do it. Another, so there's that strange connection, and here's this strange connection that maybe you're thinking, oh, Miss Winship, it's so easy. But I think it's tricky, so I'll talk about it. Here is your capital N. Whoops, yeah, no, I did that right. <laughs> and you're going to go over, not down, over for your V. And another weirdness, you're going to go over to make your E. And remember that when you're making your M, it's like a three humped camel. One, two, three. If you only have two, 
you're making the letter N. One, two, okay? Um, anything else that's weird? No, I think that's, that's good, that's it. So, um, well, here, but we already did that connection right there, so that gives you a clue, right? M, O, E, don't go down. Um, I'm gonna ask for you to make this one page because it's definitely a lot more challenging than third grade cursive. But talk to me if you feel like, oh, Ms. Winship, you know I can do more than this. This is easy. And maybe I'll assign two pages next time. So tell me what you think. Okay, so that's it. Cursive writers, copy, copy, copy. And uh, take your time to think, am I doing it the same as what I see? Am I matching things up? And uh, do I need to draw an upper line? Would that help me? Okay, and have a grown-up check and post it on Seesaw. Bye.